Hey, peace, love, and light, my beautiful, beautiful Scorpios. Welcome to First Eye Visions. My name is Q, and I'm here to do your general reading. I will, you beautiful souls, have been enjoying your solar return. I will that if your solar return has already passed, I'm sending you happy belated solar returns. I'm sending the virtual hugs, virtual kisses, all of that. If today happens to be your solar return, same thing. Happy solar return to you beautiful souls. I will that it has been amazing. I will this month, contrary to everything we're seeing in the mainstream media, even with the energy um, of Mars going retrograde, uh, that was the reason why I had to take a break. Uh, because the energy was just very intense and I actually have Scorpio in my Mars and it happens to be happening during Scorpio season. So it's like double, triple. I have a stellium in Scorpio and uh, Mars happens to be one of the planets that Scorpio um, falls in. So this energy has been like really, really intense for me. So I've been MIA. Uh, I don't like to push out readings when my energy is off. Uh, because I don't want to push that out on anyone else. I don't want to project what I'm going through onto anyone else or what I'm feeling onto anyone else. So I like to just kind of like, you know, get my energy back on track um, and really regulate what I have going on. You know, find, you know, my own um, energetic equilibrium and, and ground myself before I push out readings. Uh, because, I, you know, that's just what spirit instructs me to do anyway, not to do readings, um, you know, during certain times, you know, so as not to, like I said, project what I am energetically feeling and going through on to you all. So um, that is the reason why I was gone. I know that you all um, I know y'all get it because y'all are Scorpios as well. So y'all know how protective of our energy um, we have to be. Uh, and, and, and I know y'all, I'm preaching to the choir at this point, but, um, I just want to say thank you all so much for tuning and tapping in. If you are new here, I welcome you lovely souls to the channel. Um, my readings are general. So my spiel is eat the fish, spit out the bones, meaning if it doesn't apply, let it fly by. Do not try to force anything that does not apply to you, to you. Ashe, don't pick up anything and carry it if it doesn't belong to you. Leave it there. Uh, my readings are also uh, timeless, so whenever you happen to find this reading or whenever this reading has happened to find you, um, that was divine timing and in divine order that you have done so. Uh, for all of you who are returning, you already know what it is, beloved's love is love is love. I appreciate your love. I appreciate you all just being real active in the comment section. Um, I appreciate y'all showing each other love, showing me love. I appreciate those of you who have patronized my Etsy shop. Um, I have so many lovely souls that go in and support and I'm very humbled by that and I just I send that love right on back to you I rotate that love right back to you infinitely beloved whatever you do I rotate it back to you infinitely and I will that it is uh, you know returned tenfold you know what I'm talking about so thank you all just for just showing love and being here and um, tuning and tapping in to the channel um, this is going to be a uh, deep dive because I do owe you all uh, some readings. I definitely owe the Divine Feminines a reading. I didn't get a chance to delve into your reading because, as I said, the energy was very intense. Um, we all see what's going on in mainstream media. I tend to not discuss mainstream topics or current events uh, because I do feel like a lot of it is really meant to distract you. Um, and throw you off track and to get you um, sucked into whatever illusion they have um, for you. But I do see um, this just, you know, this this Mars and retrograde energy, it is very evident. You could see it playing out uh, in, you know, mainstream media and with what's going on currently with the NBA and Kyrie and, 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 and um, you know, with, with Ye and with, you know, um, take off, you know, the rap artists from Migos. And it's just a lot of energy. I think there was an actor, you know, a young actor that just was found, um, uh, you know, was found today um, deceased, you know. So this is the intensity 
of the energy that I was picking up on last week. Um, as I mentioned in a former reading, uh, Mars went retrograde on my solar return. So I instantly felt it. Um, and that's why I, you know, kind of took a pause on pumping out readings because as I mentioned earlier, I don't like to do readings when my energy is just like being pulled in 50 different directions because I feel everything. Uh, I am an empath. You know, most Scorpios are empaths. Uh, most Scorpios are psychics, you know, so you are going to feel the energy before you actually know what's going on. You're just going to feel it. And um, so that's what I was dealing with. Uh, and that was the reason why I had been MIA because I'm very obedient. Um, we all know as above, so below, as within, so without. And when there's a lot of energy going on celestially, you better believe that you're going to see it play out here in this um, in this physical reality. And that's exactly what we've been seeing for the past two weeks. So I will you all have been safe. I will you all have been protecting your energy during this time. This is not the time really to be around crowds of people going to parties or going in, you know, in places where there's just a bunch of folks, you know, because you can't really... Um, you can't really, um, how do I want to say this? It's like, you, you're not really able to determine or predict how someone is going to respond or react to certain things. Uh, and someone could literally, you know, fly off the handle because, you know, Mars is an energy. It's known as the Lord of War because it's so intense. It's a very destructive energy. It's a very uh, fiery, very hostile. Um, it incites violence. Uh, you can find yourselves getting injured during this time. So it's really, really, um, it would really behoove you to just be mindful not to be um, just amongst the crowd and around people that you don't really know or putting yourselves in situations that you haven't really, you know, assessed. Don't let anybody talk you into going places and doing things that you otherwise wouldn't be doing um, because you don't know how it's going to turn out. You know what I'm saying? And so, you know, with Mars being as uh, fiery and as ten intense as it has been, um, you know, it would be behoove you, like I said, to just kind of protect your energy during this time, at least until it goes direct. Um, but there's a lot of aggressive energy uh, and there's also this energy of like... Um, I just feel a lot of, it just feels very like a forceful energy, like a just, ah, man, it, it's kind of, you know, it's, it's almost like temperamental, you know, it's like, it's just like, almost like, you know how they say like, um, don't poke the bear. And it's almost like somebody's ready to pop, pop, go to weasel because we do go pop. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's, it's like. Something can re literally, it can, it can like go from zero to a hundred real quick. Like it can really, it can be something so small and you can find it escalates, you know, to, to something of a higher magnitude. And you may deem it as something very small, but to that other person, as I said, you can't predict how they're going to take it or vice versa. So you may find yourselves um, getting very triggered at this time or, you know, the energy, man, the energy is very, very intense. And so I would really, really, um, you know, just just I would uh, just be mindful of the company I'm keeping at this time. That's just what I'm feeling. Uh, that's what I have been um, picking up on is, you know, just the escalation, how things can escalate. I was hearing that word a lot um, last week, escalation, escalation. And then we see what happened in mainstream media. I even posted on the 1st of November, um, not even knowing what had happened to, um, you know, the beloved, uh, you know, he's now an ancestor, the beloved ancestor offset. Um, but I felt it and I had posted that, that, um, you know, message stating, you know, to just be mindful of, you know, who you're around and what you're, you, you're doing and just protect your energy because I felt that intensity. And then later on that day, I found out that that beloved, that brother was, you know, um, you know, he met an untimely, uh, de demise, you know, so it's, it's really, really important. You know, this is not 
play play. You got to trust your intuition now. Uh, you have to use discernment. You can't allow people to talk you into doing things or going places when your spirit may be telling you and nudging you to do otherwise. So it's really a time to trust your intuition, trust what you're feeling, um, and speak energy now. You know, speak energy. Don't 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 go by anything other than the energy that you're picking up because I feel like you know a lot of people are picking up on the fact that individuals are very intuitive, very psychic. So they may try to disclose uh disguise excuse me um their true intentions you know smiling and beguiling um they may you know assert themselves in a way which may try to uh convince you that you know they're on your side they they, they they're your friends they're, they're your homies um but then they have some ulterior motive or some ulterior objective um, that they are enacting upon. So you have to be very mindful to trust your own inner gumption, your own inner wisdom, because this is your season uh, and change is in effect. Uh, change is inevitable. That's one thing people don't realize. But Scorpios, you are the conduits of change. So your season is, as you can see, it's creating this paradigm where there's a lot of changes and a lot of shifts that are taking place within this reality, within this space and time. And um, because your energy is so intense and because we have that combination of this celestial, powerful celestial energy, we have the portal, which is on Friday, 11-11, but we also have today, as I've mentioned, 11-8. Uh, uh, today is also, <clears throat> excuse me, it's 8-8. Eight, eight. If you take that 11 and then you take the 8, but you also add that um, 2022, which is reduced to six, along with the 11, the two, which is two, it's eight, eight. So today is actually a very um, abundant time. Um, it's very um, powerful time to manifest. Uh, as I've said, it's also really about um, asserting yourselves, standing in your strength. It's about karma as well. You know, um, it's really about enforcing karma, you know, yin and yang. Uh, it's about the ebbs and the flows of life. So a lot of the changes, a lot of the things you see taking place, um, you better believe that karma um, is a part of it all. You know, um, these are the these are things that are inevitable. So we just have to be mindful um, to to be aware, you know, to be aware and to use discernment. Uh, Shay. So I'm going to digress. I'm going to proceed with the read. Um, if you are new here, I welcome you all to the channel. I thank you all for tuning and tapping in uh, to all of my beloveds. You already know what it is. Love is love is love. Um, this will be a general read. Uh, so I will, you know, tell you my spiel. If you are new here, it is eat the fish, spit out the bones. If it doesn't apply, just let it fly by. Know that you're more than just your sun sign. Um, check your moon, check your rising, your Venus, your Mercury, your Mars. Check your other placements for a more clear and concise reading for yourselves. Um, these are also timeless, as I've mentioned. Uh, and I am uh, also a Scorpio, so I channel messages intuitively. I am also an empath and I am clear audience. So you will hear me playing music in the background. And the way that it works is... You know, the song, the name of the artist, lyrics within the song, it will all correlate with what I may be channeling intuitively, as well as what is coming out within the uh, tarot cards. And it all just blends together. The messages just kind of correlate and uh, provide a very clear and concise message for you. Um, this is a uh, timeless read. So whenever this video has found you or whenever you have found this video know that that was divine timing and in divine order that you have done so uh, I will be providing you a sound bath today um, I have been instructed by my guides my spirit team to start enacting this sound bath for you all just to help get you grounded balanced and in alignment so that you may be receptive to the messages that are being channeled uh, to you know the downloads you know uh, from spirit so that you can receive divine intervention from your spirit guides, your angels, your ancestors. So it would be very beautiful to allow me to uh, um, help you, uh, you know, get you grounded, balanced and in alignment to be receptive to the messages. I'll shape. So let's go ahead, do some house cleaning. 
um, and then we shall proceed with the read beloveds uh, so let's go ahead I call upon the elements of water fire earth air ether and spirit Ashe. I ask our beautiful angels archangels ancestors ascended masters spirit guides deities animal totems earth mother Gaia universe source the divine most high God our creator to shine a powerful powerful message of love and of light I call personally upon Baba Obatala Mama Oya and Baba Ogun to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards help me to pick up on the energy the number synchronicity and vibrations of my cards and so it is so mote it be Ashe, 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 beloveds. So let's go ahead. You could take three uh, deep inhales through your nose, exhale deeply out of your mouths. I do it three times, and that's again just to help ground your energy. So let's go ahead and take a nice inhale through your nose, exhale. Again, inhale through your nose and exhale. Last time, inhale exhale. Let's see what we have playing on the playlist. All right, so it looks like it is Aman Omari. This is called Energy. So that's very funny because I was just talking about the intensity of this Mars retrograde energy. And then, bam, we have Iman Omari uh, singing Energy. So you all may also be feeling this energy, the intensity of this energy. Um, this is your season. So, you know, you are absolutely, you know, very powerful at this time. So this is, um, it would behoove you, like I said, just to protect your energy as well. You know, be mindful of who you have around you because you can have some energy, you know, vampires. You could have some sort of, uh, you know, parasites, leeches, um, you know, that could be kind of like lurking around. Uh, plotting and scheme and looking for some sort of opportunity to attack or to, um, you know, kind of even trigger you and, and, and you know, try to, to uh, bring some sort of hostility or dispute or argument, just being ultra aggressive, you know, and as I've mentioned, like, I just feel like it, it, there's a very strong possibility of it escalating beyond just an argument or beyond just a, a disagreement um it could literally come to a physical um dispute you know it could become very verbal you know um arguing screaming yelling um and as i've mentioned you can't predict how other people are going to behave so it would behoove you to just stay away from people um for this time you know during this time uh because Scorpios, you're fiery as well. Um, and being as though this is your energy, you could really come up out of your bag and, um, you know, 
and, and talk your ish. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Like Scorpios are not punks, you know? So just to protect your energy, I feel like it would behoove you to just kind of stay away from the crowd for a minute, you know, let this energy pass and then come up out of hermit mode, you know, take this time to really, you know, reinvent yourself, create new, uh, vision boards for the upcoming year. Um, do some things that are going to be, you know, productive, um, you know, for yourselves, like always be building, you know, that's something I always say, always be building, um, because others are destroying or attempting to destroy because you've come a long way. So I just feel like, you know, these individuals that are coming at you, obviously, um, they're battling their own demons, you know, and they're trying to project whatever they may be going through onto you, you know, so it will behoove you to just kind of like, you know, create space, you know, um, create boundaries. Um, don't be so available. Uh, just kind of go off the radar for a moment. Um, and take that time to love on you. Take that time to take care of you, to treat you, um, to do for yourselves. You know, um, this isn't a time to be overextending um, anyway. This is a time for you to love on you. This is a time for you to, you know, really prioritize you right now because uh, this is your season, beloved. So that's what I'm picking up um, intuitively. Let's see what these tarot cards say. Uh, Shay, so we're going to start off with the numerology deck. As you know, I like to start off with the numbers. So look what we have here, the number eight. And today is the number eight. And I was just mentioning how, um, you know, this eight, eight energy is really about manifestation. Um, it's a powerful energy to manifest. You know, it's a powerful energy uh, of bringing in abundance and prosperity. So a lot of you all could be working on some sort of um, money magnet uh, rituals tonight. Maybe you're going to be doing some uh, prosperity rituals. Maybe you're doing some sort of um, spells to bring in money. Uh, but this eight manifestation, I feel something is coming in. With this total eclipse energy, I feel like something you've been manifesting is absolutely coming into fruition because it's like a wish fulfilled. It's like some sort of um, answered prayer or some sort of petition that you've sent up. It's like spirit is answering it and giving you a yes answer because this is a pink card and pink deals with the heart. So this shows that there's a sense of happiness and elation, emotional fulfillment, uh, due in part to something that you've manifested. I feel like you co-created or set your intentions and something's manifesting. Um, we have uh, Steve Miller Bland, Band and it's called Fly Like an Eagle. So yeah, so that eagle represents your energy, Scorpio's transformation. Look at this. So we have um, Fly Like an Eagle. That's that song. I like that. So this, this, you are um, the conduits of change, as I said. And Scorpios are really, you know, um, that energy that that really uh, brings about a sense of renewal, um, a rebirth because of the shifts and the changes that are taking place. It's like you know how to transform that energy. Um, you know how to turn whatever the circumstance, whatever the situation you're going through, um, you turn it into your favor. You turn pain into power uh, and you emerge a better, stronger, uh, wiser version of yourselves through those experiences. So it's like almost like there's an answered prayer. You know, this aid is giving me like, you know, the um, star energy. You know, it's also giving me like the strength that you've endured, that you have displayed, um, the respect, the self respect that you've also you know stood in and now there's like there's a, a a blessing an answered prayer or some sort of wish fulfillment that's coming in and it's making you very happy see that look at this 61 self-love so this self-love this is why you're being rewarded i feel because you are taking care of you i was just saying how you know this is your season and this is a time to love on you this is a time to treat yourselves this is a time to focus on the self and not overextend yourself so this is a powerful energy this seven and eight reduces to 15 which is six so i do feel like there's a lot of balance because i'm getting like the lovers so that could be very indicative of you know because the lovers has an angel overseeing a masculine and feminine energy that masculine feminine energy could literally just be you finding balance all right the train just went by and spirit is like or <laughs> Or this can mean that there is a potential soulmate or a twin flame or someone. Um, some of you all could be coming in a new business partnership. Um, and I do feel it has a lot to do with 
a reward because you've you know learned the lesson of loving thyself the 61 reduces the seven seven is the crown chakra seven also represents personal growth like you had to you know go from that basement you know the the base chakra is like the basement and you took that elevator all the way up to the seventh floor which represents your higher self your crown chakra so now there's the sense of knowledge of self love of self knowing thyself um and loving thyself more importantly and so it's due in part to the lessons that you've learned um to the experiences you've all had to endure and not just endure but overcome because you've transformed as we just saw fly like an eagle and that eagle Eagle is very indicative and symbolic of scorpionic energy. It's even on the, I believe, um, the world card. You'll see um, on traditional tarot, there's an eagle there. So eagles are very, uh, very uh, sharp-witted, very intuitive animal totems, uh, and and birds period just represent angelic energy so there, there's this sense of ascension and elevating um and just growing um maturing um and spiritually as well not just you know in your physical being or even in your your um as I mentioned, your knowledge of self, but spiritually, you've done these things. So you've literally had to go from that base chakra, the basement, and you move that elevator all the way up to the seventh, which is speaking to the personal growth. So we have Kambada, and this is uh, God lived. Um, so God lived through you, and it's a play on the word God lived, and then you have devil dog. So that's uh, God lived backwards. So it's like God lived through you. Um, so it's almost like your ancestors and angels nudged you um, and spiritually guided you, gave you those divine interventions and downloads. And that's how you was a, a, a able to, you know, awaken to, you know, who you were, what your purpose was and, and how you should treat yourself. Because ultimately you teach people how to treat you. So I feel like you really learned that love was an inside job by loving yourselves, you know. So whatever situations you were uh, entangled in or people you was dealing with, um, I feel like you created boundaries because I'm getting with that 61 also, like the seven of wands. So that's when you potentially went into that mode of like, you know, taking a step back and away from everything and everyone and just more so um, assessing self, uh, discovering yourself, reflecting and, and, and doing some soul searching and some healing in the process. And that's why spirit is now saying, ah, whatever you've been, you know, calling in, whatever you've been um, hoping for, desiring, even whatever you've been working on, you know, because I get a sense of you being very busy, honing skills, mastering your craft. Some of you all went back to school. Some of you all are learning a trade. You're all working on some sort of goal or some sort of endeavor that you may have pushed to the back burner for a long time. And now it's like you feel more of this passion, this intensity telling you to go after it go after your dreams follow your dreams go do what it is you want to do um, we have compassion here nine nine and whenever you show compassion um, it just speaks to the forgiveness um, sometimes you got to forgive those who have yet to apologize um, and more importantly you got to forgive those because for they know not what they do you know you got a lot of people out here um, who have yet to do the healing who have yet to do um, some of that that reflective work that met that um that shadow work that you may have done so they could literally just be lost souls out here still just perpetuating her perpetuating the same ignorance just kind of in this loop you know in this dismal space and i feel like that's why spirit is saying just show compassion because a lot of people know not what they do and 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 you know when you show compassion and you're not judging others um that also is a show that you have evolved, that you have grown, that you have matured. You know not to misplace your anger or to um, charge others uh, for things you may have allowed, you know, because it takes uh, accountability. It takes you owning, you know, and taking onus of the part you played um, just in allowing someone to get one off you, you know, um, there, there has to be some accountability and responsibility for even having those circumstances unfold. And I feel like that's where you were, where you were assessing those things and you're taking onus and accountability and no longer faulting anyone else because you don't find yourselves to be a victim. Victims blame, victims shame, 
but you're not doing that. You're taking onus and accountability and saying, okay, that was my bad. You know, this time around, I'm going to look alive. I'm going to keep my head on a swivel and, um, you know, maintain my boundaries because you're never going to fall for the okie doke again. So this 9-9 nine -nine compassion is showing me um, that you absolutely have learned, um, you know, the, the act of forgiveness is ultimately for you anyway. You know, it's really for you. So let's see what else we have. All right. So we have truth playing. I will always love you. So perhaps someone that you've left behind, someone that you've, you know, kind of parted ways with. I felt like with that train going by, there could have been someone that was at a distance. We did see, um, you know, I did get that six, the lovers that could also speak to, as I said, like a soulmate or a twin flame. Someone feels, you know, this love that they will always have for you. They will always cherish you. Um, and with troop, I do feel there's distance because back in the days, okay, so a couple of cards flew upright and it's a lot of cards, but look at the one that's standing upright and it's the number 74, 11. So we know 11 really is about, you know, um, receiving some sort of download. Um, someone could be sending you a message telepathically. Maybe they're receiving some sort of telepathic message. Maybe they're sending you um, some sort of intuitive message or they're receiving some sort of download that maybe they have some sort of real um, chemistry with you. This is someone I feel like y'all, you may have had like a natural connection or natural um, chemistry with this person. Um, maybe there was a synergy. Uh, I do feel there's thoughts. There's some sort of cerebral activity because of the person. Purple. Um, I do feel they also, you know, has a lot of love uh, because remember what I said, I will always love you by troopers playing and that green deals with the heart chakra. So this person definitely loves you. I feel like they love the way that you are just naturally um, beautiful. Like you, it, you don't, it doesn't take much for you to be beautiful. It's like you're beautiful inside you know and that's what makes the beauty on you externally just you you radiate this this you just glowing in shit <laughs> you know what i'm saying i just see you glowing i just see someone really being attracted to you um i'm also getting with that 11 like that's the other half of you uh because 11 11 is uh correlated with like the twin flame number um I'm also getting a sense some of you all could have been born in the year 1974. Uh, I'm also feeling some of y'all maybe have been seeing, maybe you've been seeing 1111 a lot. Um, and that's a very powerful number as well. Um, that usually is telling you, uh, because that's a vibration, you know, of uh, four, you know, and fours, and it's 555. Five, five. Right now on the clock as I'm speaking of 1111. So look at that. 555 five, five reduces to what? 15. So that's 6. So this is that. Look at that. That's This is that past person, the lovers. Because remember earlier on the split, I was picking up the number 6. Uh, because we had the 17 or the 70. What was that? The 16 or 61. And then we had um, the number 7. And so I was getting um, that. That's 15. I forgot what I had. I Don't get me. Oh, I had, uh, it, I think it was eight. It was the number eight manifestation. And then it was the number um, 61. And so that was 15 and it reduced to six. And so this uh, is that person that definitely feels they just have this natural connection or natural chemistry, this love. Um, they may feel like you you and them are like like minds, like you may be into the same things, maybe into the same spiritually. Maybe you're both psychics. Um, but I just look this person, they feel you're the object of their of the desire, you know, and with star, I was picking up on the star earlier, like a wish fulfillment. So someone may feel like you are their wish fulfillment, like you're the one that got away. Um, and this is someone that could be at a distance. And I feel like they may be like rushing in towards you because I can't stop hearing the train going by and all that honking. It was giving me like somebody at a distance. Um, so I do feel like this person is literally at a distance from you and maybe they are trying to um figure out you know like how to come back towards you maybe they're mustering up you know their courage their strength um you know because that eight was there as well manifestation maybe you're manifesting some sort of new love opportunity um you know but i'm also you know i was uh about to delve into the number 11 and when that 11 appears repeatedly, it definitely is signifying that there's some sort of energetic gateway. And we're about to 
uh, come into this 1111 portal on Friday and it's opened up for you all so that you can start to manifest whatever your thoughts are into this physical reality. And that's the reason why manifestation is here. So you all have to, you know, be very mindful to start, um, you know, maybe jotting your ideas down. Like I said earlier, start working on a vision board. Um, start getting some of those goals um, written up. Look what we have on the bottom of the deck, new beginnings. So you are embarking upon and are on the precipice of some sort of new beginning. And you only have new beginnings when you've closed chapters, when you've completed chapters, when you have, uh, you know, completed some sort of cycle, karmic cycle, karmic lessons. Uh, so that's very powerful. So spirit, I haven't even pulled a card yet. And we're 30 minutes into the reading. I told you this was going to be a deep, deep dive, baby. I got a lot of messages for y'all because I've been, been going for a minute. So let's see. Spirit, what messages do you have for my beautiful Scorpio? Someone obviously feels you are an object of their desire. So this person desires you. They are um, attracted to you. You know, they think of you. Um, and they will always love you. So this is obviously someone you are not in communication with. I feel like they think about you a lot, which is why that 74 was there. Because, um, you know, that deals with like the um, high priestess, high priest. So that is someone very intuitive, very psychic. So they could be, you know, just up in their head a lot, dreaming about you, thinking about you. Because that purple uh, on the inside of the um, symbol. So let's go ahead and cut this deck. I cut three times three different directions bottom of the deck would be your overall energy and so we have financial discipline so someone could be working on their finances I definitely feel like that's something that could potentially be manifesting as well because remember we did see uh, manifestation manifestation eight so some of you all could be working on manifesting like a new job a new career maybe business maybe you're you know working on getting um, some sort of um, a loan or maybe even a grant i'm hearing the word grant so maybe you're you're applying for grants for a business um but i do see where there's like more of a focus on um financial freedom you know financial stability money management uh that 48 breaks down to 12 so this could be you know that energy of really uh tapping into your creativity or your artistry maybe you are co-creating with source or you are utilizing that energy and you're manifesting things making things handcrafting maybe you make um you know maybe you are into um you know, uh, working in like spirituality, like you're, you're, uh, how do I want to say this? Like, it's like you are providing some sort of service. So maybe you are sound therapists, maybe you are channelers, maybe you're psychics, maybe you're tarot readers, maybe you have, um, you know, a store or a shop, maybe you, you produce music, maybe you're an artist, uh, whatever it is you're doing, it's like you're mastering your craft, like you're really in your zone because this, um, 12, I'm getting like, you know, it reduces to three, which we know is the Empress. So that is like, you know, that divine feminine, divine masculine type of energy, regardless of, you know, the gender. That's that energy of like, you know, your divinity is to create. So you're like co-creating, you're, you know, um, create birthing new ways of thinking, new styles, new projects. Um, you're just birthing something new. Uh, this is also that three of pentacles type of energy to me as well, where it's like you're working very um, diligently uh, on a specific goal. And it's like your hard work's paying off. Um, you have people wanting to come in and partner with you. So you may have some folks that are saying like, wow, this is this is a dope idea. And, you know, I want to I want to fund this. I want to I want to support this. And they may find you may find people like, you know, um, funding your dream that's why i was picking up like you know maybe you're uh working towards getting a loan or maybe you're working on a grant but whatever this is i feel like you know with that pink again i feel like it's gonna it's gonna work out in your favor because i feel this this there's just like joy and happiness like things are really uh balancing out you're in your power you're seen as someone who's um very stable very business minded very um strong-witted like you know very very sharp-witted rather um you know what you're doing you you just you know very tenacious energy um very very determined willful type of energy and i feel like with that three um you will be successful you are successful already um it's like whatever you're doing it's like you you have um managed to turn some sort of dream into reality 
because I, I just see like your hard work um, paying off like all of your hard work is now producing some sort of um, like F like harvest it's like you're flourishing right now the bottom of the deck we have 71 health didn't I say someone was up in their head for you and look what's playing right now we got the gap band yearning for your love so with gap I'm getting distance you know when you think of a gap there's like space so I feel like there's distance between you and this person and that's why they're up in their head because when I see the 17 uh, I mean the 71 I get like the eight of swords type of energy so this is someone and they're obvious up obviously up in their head because of the purple inside the card so this someone this someone who's yearning for you um, they're desiring you these feelings are intensifying there's no doubt about it because the music is just like bam bam every time I like we about to pull the energy for the person you're attracting and this is what's on the bottom of the deck so they're obviously up in their head I did see that earlier um, because of the um, 74 so with whoever this is um they are really like this is almost like self-sabotage maybe they have a lot of lack they they, they speak they, they kind of fester in that spirit of lack um maybe they think very pessimistically um maybe they've done so you know they've done something to you that they don't feel perhaps that you will forgive them for so maybe you know they're kind of like you know they're 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 almost um they're deciding their own fate without even speaking to you you know it's like they don't know how to approach you so this is why they're up in their head a lot but it's like they are this is really like self-imposed mental anguish mental conflict confusion anxiety stress ruminating pining this is even like analysis paralysis because they are yearning for you this is definitely somebody who is like really missing you very attracted to you um, and I feel like that, you know, they may also be trying to get their funds together as well, uh, which is why, you know, they, you know, there could be like this, this pause, this gap, there's no communication, um, in addition to you putting someone on timeout or you creating that space and that distance. But let's see, who is this person, um, that Scorpio is attracting? May I have a message of love and light? Who is Scorpio attracting? Thank you, spirit. So these cards... I'm going to go ahead and take those, finish my shuffle. Bottom of the deck, we have patience. See that? Good things take time to create. Two is also, again, um, that's the high priest, this high priest. So someone's listening to their intuition or trusting and using discernment and knowing that divine timing is of the essence. This is, you know, why. I feel like someone's wrapping up a cycle or someone's going through something and spirit is saying it's going to require patience. Someone's healing. Someone's healing from perhaps a breakup. You know, someone's healing from perhaps a breakup because this is what's on the bottom of the deck. So this is why it's requiring patience because someone is going to need to muster up perhaps, you know, some sort of strength, you know, courage. They're going to have to get out of their head, you know, because there's a lot of mental conflict with this person. But once they get out of this process and they, they start to um, heal themselves, I feel like they will move forward because this 66 reduces to three three and two is five and then this 56 reduces to 11 which is two so that five and two that reduces to seven so they will the seven is associated with the chariot so i feel like they will uh be more assertive they will display some courage strength wisdom wise don't you know because i feel like they've been learning you know whatever it is um that took place in the past maybe between you or maybe between a karmic it's like they've learned some sort of karmic lesson and, and and now they realize they need to heal themselves. It's requiring a lot of patience because healing is not something you do overnight. You know, healing is it, it requires a lot of um, a lot of effort. And so I feel like somebody is absolutely, you know, making the effort. So let's see what these cards are. We actually have the same amount of cards that we need for the read. And I'm gonna pull this one. So we have self discipline. So this person has been maturing, growing, self-discipline, number 41 reduces to five. So that's associated with not only the throat chakra, but that's also the um, hierophant. So the hierophant is really about, you know, learning and growing, uh, mastering oneself, you know, sitting at the feet of the elders, seeking wise counsel. Um, and this is the person indeed that is yearning for you, that desires to speak to you, communicate with you, because as I've indicated, this 41 reduces to five, which is the throat chakra. So they do want to speak to you, you know, but I feel like their money is funny. I heard their money's funny. So if somebody's money is funny. Maybe they was in a codependent relationship, which is why they had to learn self-discipline because you get, you have to learn to stand perpendicular in your square, to stand independently. 
of a situation of a person um, in order to really assert yourself or stand erect. So I feel like this person has been learning self-discipline, which is all encompassing of self-love, self-worth, self-value, self-respect. Um, and so that's what this person has been doing. They've been growing. They've been maturing um, emotionally, mentally, spiritually, financially. Um, but they are growing. And I do see that because the green inside of the heart chakra, 444. Four, four, Four. So that's an answer from spirit. That was a like like a nod that your person is in fact doing their work, which is why it was requiring patience, which is why spirit is saying, yes, they are healing. And this is blue also, just like that throat chakra. So once they feel like they can uh, come forward confidently and be assertive and 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 show you um you know, sh show you, you know, it's more about showing you opposed to just speaking to you. I feel like this person may also, you know, th they may have had difficulty um, with expression, you know, expressing their feelings, discussing most, most um, people don't like to discuss feelings. You know, it's been frowned upon that, oh, when you start discussing feelings, it's like eyes roll behind your head. And it's like, you have to be emotionally intelligent. You can't just be book smart, street smart, um, you know, but did not have any emotional intelligence. Um, so I feel like that's one of the lessons this person has been learning because I see this green on the inside of the symbol, which is dealing with the heart chakra. And that four in the 41 is also displaying that. This could be a divine masculine um, and this could be a divine feminine here, but I do feel like they are uh, working on the self because one is um, dealing with the self, you know, one is also a masculine number. Um, so this person, this masculine, if it's not a masculine and it's a feminine, uh, they absolutely are working on themselves and healing. Uh, but more importantly, they're seeking wise counsel. So they're not just um, listening to their the dun -the -dun ass homeboys or their cornball ass friends that are all single and still trying to be pimps, players and you know, hold that no, nah, they're going to the elder in the family that been married for 45, 50 years happily. You know, they're going to that grand aunt, you know, and, and seeking advice about, you know, how to court a woman, you know, or how to court a man or how to cook or, you know, it's like they're sitting at the feet of those elders and, and, and truly soaking up, you know, all of that, that wise don't, you know, so this is someone that is absolutely intentionally uh, changing and, and, and growing um, to become a better version of themselves. Um, we have um, next, so how they feel about you. Didn't I mention personal growth seven? So this is how they feel about you. They feel like you are someone who has absolutely elevated. You've elevated mentally, emotionally. It's like you've gone through some sort of death and you've emerged someone wiser, sharper. Um, they know that you are highly intuitive, which is why they could have been sending you those little intuitive messages, um, you know, sending you those little messages via your dreams because they know how intuitive you are. But I also feel like this is just them seeing um, for themselves the transformation in you. Um, you've, you've grown. There's been a death. There's been a death and a rebirth. You've emerged someone that is very psychic, very in tune, um, very tapped in, very connected um, with your, your spirit team, with Mother Guy, your universe, source. Uh, also, you're very powerful psychically. There's a high energy um, that surrounds you, and this person is really pulled in. Um, they're really, you know, it's like a magnetic pull, a magnetic attraction. With this three and this five, that's eight, eight and seven is 15, that's six. So this is, again, that person, you know, that person from your past who sees you as, you know, the one that got away. Um, they want to rush toward you. You know, this is someone that wants to rush toward you. They communicate with you. I feel like they also dream a lot about you because we just saw a yearning for your love and I feel like they dream about you think about you um, constantly and they want to communicate with you come towards you but I feel like there could be you know some things they are working out some kinks that they are working out before they take action because they see how much you have grown how much you have elevated and it's like they want to come in and match your fly your vibration your frequency um, we have whatever you want. So this person wants to give you whatever you want. That could be why I was picking up on somebody trying to get their coins together. Um, because 
this person sees how independent, self-sufficient you are. Even if this is, if this is a masculine um, and there's a feminine watching you, this like they want to come in, um, you know, on an equal playing field. So they don't want to come in um, being needy. They want to come in and match your fly. You know, they want to come in with something to offer you. You know what I'm talking about? So this is beautiful. So with 91 surrender, this is what's hidden in the energy. So someone, uh, spirit is saying that, you know, someone could have been like, fighting or resisting because I'm hearing the word resistance um, and, and spirit is saying you have to be opened um, as I've mentioned like when you are um, when you're closed off and spirit is blessing you um, you're not going to be able to receive whatever the blessings are. So spirit is saying, like, surrender to the situation. Don't try to control the situation or the narrative. Um, don't try to control anyone else because it, it doesn't work out in your favor. You know, it's like surrender, be open, be receptive. Um, I do feel that someone is opening up finally after being, like, closed. I'm seeing, like, a clam, just like you got to pry open a clam and, and that's what I'm seeing. So someone is slowly but surely opening up um, because they realize they want to give you whatever you want. Um, they want to provide for you. Um, they want to supply your every need. And I feel like with that 91, um, there's an end of someone playing perhaps hard to get or being stubborn or even, you know, a little egotistical, um, you know, in their actions. And now they realize like they have to be open. They have to be receptive if they really truly wish to receive what it is they may want. You know what I'm saying? They want to come in and give you what you want, but they want to get what they want as well. And that's why they come into this realization like, damn, I have to surrender. You know, I have to open up to this. Um, because, you know, this could even be you if you're guarded. Um, you know, if you've gone through a lot of um, trauma or disappointment in your life, naturally, um, you're going to establish boundaries. Naturally, you're going to be very guarded. You're not going to just be open and gullible and naive. You know, you're, you're going to be very guarded. And perhaps maybe spirit is saying, look, you know, uh, be, be open up a little you know if you if you you're looking for love or if you if you want things to come to you you have to you know you have to surrender to spirit you know don't try to control um the situation or the narrative be be open you know to whatever um whatever it is that spirit may have for you because spirit knows what's best look at that you got a happy end in here that's why they're saying open up that's why they're saying surrender so we got this 93 that's a big beautiful happy yellow card 93 reduces to 12, which is 3. Someone is returning from your past to give you exactly what you want. This is someone that does see you as, you know, the yin to their yang because that 3 is the empress. So they feel you make them very happy. Um, this is someone who does feel like you may be very, like, maternal. Um, you could be very um, domestic, uh, very paternal. Uh, a provider, um, a protector, uh, someone very down to earth, powerful, loving, beautiful, attractive, wise, um, just a healer. Like you just have that beautiful emotional energy, very loyal, uh, very caring, very tender, just, you know, beautiful energy that radiates. That's just, uh, you just radiate this love, this light, uh, this beauty or this, this confidence, um, that three and forty one five eight that's six six and that's seven seven and three yep ten so someone is going through some sort of ending and as i said every ending denotes a new beginning so this is that new beginning we saw when we first um when we split the deck when those cards spilled out these cards spilled out and new beginning was on the bottom because all of this reduces to ten and this ten reduces to one so this new beginning that you're going to have is going to lead to a very happy ending. And I feel like a lot of you all know because maybe you all manifested this. Uh, because remember, manifestation number eight did show up in the very beginning of the reading. That was the introduction card. That was what was on the bottom of the deck. And Spirit is reminding you to just be patient. You know, good things take time to create. Patience is also a form of action. You all have been very diligent and very mindful to stay focused on mastering your craft, sharpening your sword, um, honing your skills, um, doing your due diligence. Like I said, some of you all may have returned back to school just to better yourselves. Um, but there's a beautiful energy of something um, that is coming. Someone from your past that is returning. And it's going to bring a lot of joy. It's going to bring a lot of happiness and a lot of um, 
just uh i feel like elation you're gonna feel elated um so that's beautiful that's a beautiful energy and so we have india ali uh india Irie. i said ali and that's uh that magic so yeah so some of you all have been uh manifesting this person with that magic i do feel like some of you all could have been um either they are manifesting you or you are manifesting them you know who you are um, but that magic is perhaps working. Maybe someone's magic was what was um, what's coming to an end because that's why they're able to uh, come towards you now because that magic is, you know, whatever spell has been broken. So I see black cat and it says um, fortune meets opportunity. And this is on the bottom of my Halloween deck. So fortune meets opportunity. So this is beautiful. You know, black cats, people always get, you know, kind of scared when they see black cats. I own a black cat. Black cats are nothing to be afraid of. They're absolutely beautiful. But cats are very, um, you know, they are very imp uh, impervious to threats. So they are highly intuitive. Uh, with these second set of eyes, I feel like that's, again, spirit telling you, uh, trust your intuition. Um, I feel because you've trusted your intuition, you've learned a lot along the way. This is speaking to how highly intuitive, psychic, informed, wise you all are. Um, and that's why there is some sort of opportunity um, that is approaching you. I feel the fortune is because of the hard work and the effort and the skills that you have developed um, and have mastered in this process because that 48 reduces to 12 that's three that's the energy of the empress the empress is a very powerful divine feminine if you are masculine same thing applies it's a very powerful energy and they know how to man their master manifestors but also you could see here with the books that that cat is sitting on this is someone that's very learned very experienced very informed very wise so it's like there's some sort of fortune some sort of abundance some sort of opportunity that is being met because of the actions you've taken in the past, because of what you've learned, you know, so it's like you've, it's about self mastery. So on the split, we have cauldron and it says synergy and healing. See that? And mem remember the person you're attracting, we had yearning for your love. We also had um, desire playing object of my desire and now we have cauldron so this person whoever this is that person was healing we also saw healing 66 so whoever this is this person knows in order for them to have some sort of opportunity they have to first do their uh their work they have to heal themselves um and we have 11 11 on the clock right now so this is your twin flame this is someone like a soulmate, a cosmic companion, twin flame, whatever you want to call it. But this is what this person has been doing. They know that in order to match your fly, your vibration, your frequency, um, to be in your presence, they're going to have to do their work. And why? Because they feel the synergy. They feel the strong chemistry and connection with you. But they see how much you have been growing. They see how much you have evolved, how much you've transformed. And so they know they too have to also do their due diligence to work on themselves. They have to also, um, it's like I'm hearing the word catch up to you. So that's what they could potentially be trying to do is to catch up to you. So let's tap in. Spirit, let me get a message from my beautiful Scorpios. Messages of love and light. So with that magic playing by India Irene. So a couple of cards flipped over. I'm not taking all of these. I'm just going to see what's on the bottom of the top card. And it says uh, scrying intuition. So didn't I say that you all have to trust your intuition? You know, you all are highly intuitive. We see that. The heart of the matter is personal growth number seven, which is associated with the crown chakra. So that means always trust your intuition, but also use your first eye to see. You know, um, definitely when it comes to energy, speak energy, you know. Speak energy. And we have zombie on the bottom of the deck control. So I was picking up with that magic playing by Indy Ari. Someone could have been under some sort of black magic spell, ritual, voodoo, juju, voodoo, santaria. Maybe somebody had somebody putting roots on them. And now it's all coming to an end and it's leading to some happy ending. Someone is freeing themselves. I see like an anchor being uprooted. And it's like, it's, you know, it, it, someone's being free. It's like freedom. Let me get a message 
and we have um, we have Nipsey Hustle Rising Power King, and this is called Million Why You Young, and this is from the Victory Lap album. So that's the victory I was picking up on, like a victory, someone moving forward. So there is a breakthrough. You know, there's a major breakthrough that's coming through. You know, in a situation, or maybe through you know communicating, someone returning, or um, you know, this reconciling, reuniting. You know. All right, so those two cards are going to come out. And so we have in the bottom of the deck, Skull of Stars, infinite possibilities. My right ear is ringing, ringing right now like crazy. So just pay attention um, because you could be receiving some sort of spiritual downloads from an ancestor. Um, there's some sort of messages coming through. So trust your energy right now. With this infinite possibilities, I do feel like, again, that's a wish fulfillment. I feel like, you know, the infinity symbol speaks to, again, you know, some sort of karmic situation. Um, I feel through your your strength, through your endurance, through your perseverance, uh, just displaying resilience, period. Uh, there is some sort of wish fulfillment that's coming in. And right underneath that, see that? It says fortune meets opportunity. So it's like your hard work almost is paying off whatever prayers, petitions, whatever you've done in the past to, um, to assert yourselves. Uh, towards a dream, you know, towards some sort of goal. It's like spirit sees that and there's infinite possibilities. So the, I feel like there's opportunities that are going to be presenting themselves. So we have joy, rejoicing in the present. So I'm here. I heard be here now. So something is going to bring a lot of joy with million while you young. I do feel like some of you all uh, could be winning some money. I heard like winning um, some sort of scratch off or some sort of sweepstake. Maybe some of you all are receiving that grant or that loan. Um, you're definitely receiving, you know, some news of a promotion or some sort of pay increase. And it's going to bring a lot of joy. I'm also hearing that song by Blackstreet. Um, She's bringing me joy, joy, joy. That girl, she brings me joy. I'm hearing that. So somebody feels like you bring them joy. And this is someone that could be wanting to come back, build some sort of alliance, partner with you, you know, like, you know, become partners, become, you know, come in, you know, come into union. Yeah, I do feel like this person definitely is like wanting to come back because I'm getting the three of pentacles again. The three of pentacles is really about like working together, teaming together, partnering, partnering up. You know, and this is someone that feels like, you know, um, they could build like a family, you know, build a family, a nucleus. Whenever I see this, even though this is leaves, you know, represents like the fall time, which is the season right now we're in. I always see like a tree as well. So this person could see themselves like building that family, that nucleus. You know, having that structure, compromising, building with you, having that happy house, happy spouse, because you bring them joy. You know, when I think of victory, I feel like this, this, there's going to be some sort of major breakthrough, perhaps in this person's financial situation or in your financial situation, which would allow you to be able to um, to pursue this connection, to for this person to pursue you, to come towards you. What we have next is Barm Brock. It says... Uh, sweetness and synergy so this is what they feel towards you they feel that you are someone that they have a very uh, strong synergy and chemistry with there's a very strong attraction here very strong attraction and they're sweet on you you know and they want this victory they want to break through there's been distance there's been disconnect and they want to change that with these uh, jack-o-lanterns these pumpkins here that represents pr um, protection so I do feel like they are protected spiritually because perhaps maybe they, um, the one you're attracting could have had some sort of, um, you know, some sort of spell work on them because we had India Iris singing um, the magic, you know, that magic. So somebody could have had magic on them. And these jack-o'-lanterns do represent uh, protection. I also feel like, you know, because, you know, the jack-o'-lanterns are uh you know, very seasonal, <laughs> you know, for Scorpios, it's like a, a seasonal um, fruit. A lot of start, a lot of people start eating pumpkin pies and pumpkin, uh, you know, start carving pumpkins around 
you know, it starts during Scorpio season and then it, you know, proceeds into like Thanksgiving, um, you know, into, you know, these other um, holy days. So it's like with this, this uh, pumpkin there, I feel strongly like this person is also protective, you know, also protective of this connection they feel with you. You know, it's like they, 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 they guard it with their, their, their life. It's like they don't really, um, maybe in the past they didn't, you know, but now it's like they've really been like protecting this union, you know, because maybe they've had some naysayers around. But I just feel a sense of like them having this strong sense of respect because they feel this strong connection, you know. They know it's something spiritual, it's something sacred is what I'm getting. So we have Nas, the message. So some of you all may receive a message from this person. Because remember that 41, that's associated with the throat chakra. So this person may send you a message, a sweet message. Just telling you how deeply they feel connected to you. And how much of a star they feel you are. They feel that you are their wish fulfillment or the one that got away. And that's why I felt like, you know, they're sending you telepathic messages or maybe they're dreaming of you, you know, constantly because this is all purple, which deals with, you know, the crown chakra. So let's see. Why is personal growth here for how this person, Scorpio, is attracting to them, feels about them? Why is personal growth here? We have a message of love and light. Why is personal growth here? Why is personal growth here? We have a message of love and light. Why is personal growth here for my beautiful Scorpios? Thank you, Spirit. And it says, Hearth, happiness in our hearts and homes. I can't make this up. See that? This is what they have right here. This is what they have. Hearth. You are the hearth. You are the home, the hearth. Love is a house. Wherever they are, they don't have none of that. They don't have none of the aforementioned. They don't have the happiness. And they don't feel like that house is a home. Because the love that you feel for another person, that's what makes that home, you know, a house. That's what makes it feel, you know, like it's worth living in you know that's why this happiness is here because i feel like this person is coming towards you they could have been like trying to be guarded blocked maybe you were very guarded and blocked whatever it is this is how they feel they feel very drawn to you and attracted to you because whatever this is it's intensifying that fire represents passion attraction lust love but you make this person happy they're very sweet on you. And that's why I was picking up like they're protective of this connection. And they could be definitely, you know, performing some sort of love spells or magics manifesting you, you know, to come to them or manifesting just love to come to them. But this is like someone who's had some sort of epiphany. You know, we got the skull of light and we're about to clarify the surrender card. Someone's had some sort of epiphany, some sort of aha moment. Spirit is like giving them the divine download. And that's why now this 91, which reduces to 10, now they're no longer being guarded. Because when you're surrendering, it's like you're opening yourselves up. Spirit is saying, okay, enough with the guardedness. 91 is an end to being guarded. Now someone is going to open up and be receptive. Because they could have been, you know, very pessimistic, as I said. You know, not really thinking positively about the situation. But with the skull of light... You know, maybe this is speaking to having a thick skull, being hard-headed, you know, not being open. You know, that's that person that was potent, potentially just like stubborn, you know. Hard head makes it sore fast. And now they're sweet on you, you know. Now they're realizing, like, something has triggered them. Something's coming in. Maybe they started to realize they're falling for you. You know, these leaves... You know, this is the fall time, so if someone's falling for you. They see you as the empress, standing independently, self-sufficiently. You know, you have stability, security. You rebuilt on a more solid foundation after some sort of ending or some sort of tower moment. That's why I was picking up, like, always be building. Because it's like, you, regardless of what has happened, you're always leveling up. You're always growing. You're always reinventing yourself, always transforming. It's like you are nothing like, you know, the person that they may have last 
spoken to or seen. It's like you, you're just completely different. And they feel like you are, you know, the yin to their yang or the yang to their yin. You are their cosmic companion. This is something they can't deny. And I feel like they, they, they keep this, this, this fire lit. Like this fire, it, it remains to be lit. You know, that's why I was picking up like intensity because this is something they were very stubborn about. They did not express these things. They did not emote. They did not say anything because it was very guarded. And it could have been very burdensome perhaps on you because you didn't know what they were feeling. So it could have caused you a little mental anguish as well. Because I'm getting with that 9, 1, 10, 1, and then the 7. It's like that could have caused you a lot of confusion. You know, maybe doubting yourself, second guessing yourself. And it had nothing to do with you. This was just this person needed to mature. And that's why they're in this 41 self-discipline energy. And with the skull of light, now they're getting that aha moment. It's like, aha, like Eddie Murphy and coming to America. All right, so why is 91 Surrender here for my beautiful Scorpios and what's hidden in the energy? Thank you, Spirit. And we have Winter. And it says, the sacredness of pausing. See that? I can't make this up. I mentioned the sacred connection. Spirit is saying it is a very sacred energy of just pausing. Remember, patience. So it's like someone is able to see things for what it truly is by just taking a moment to go within. Taking a moment allows them the opportunity to assess themselves, to assess the situation. You know, that nine is like the hermit. That one is the new beginning, is coming out of the hermit mode. You know, with, with, with that fire, with that, that tenacity, with that determination to go get what you want but the moon behind this is showing someone's trust in their intuition they're receiving some sort of download some sort of you know transmission today is the full moon and this is a full moon so that's about illumination but this is also winter winter is when everything dies it's also speaking to coldness you know someone was being very cold very distant and this is perhaps what caused the death or the demise of a relationship. And so someone is realizing that they had to take a moment to reflect, you know, take a moment to assess, take a moment to do some introspective work. On the bottom of the deck, we have scrying again, intuition. So that's what they're going to listen to. Their intuition is telling them that you need to, you need to put these guards down and open up because what you really feel it's it's already here you feel joy around this person you feel sweet around on this person you feel the strong synergy chemistry attraction this person makes you happy you know what i'm talking about this person is in your heart you carry this person in your spirit you're thinking about them constantly you're making these changes so that you can come into union with this person it's like all of this and we have seven days playing by mary j blige so maybe this person will reach out to you all in seven days. Maybe seven is a significant number for you all. Maybe that's your solar return. Maybe your solar return fell on 11-7, um, maybe on October 25th. So happy belated solar return to you. Maybe seven is your life path number. Maybe this person was born in the seventh month. But I feel someone could be potentially like maybe they're going to be awakening in seven days, maybe seven days. They're going through some sort of spiritual awakening, whatever the case may be. I definitely feel like whatever this coldness is, whatever this distance, it's like somebody's finally using discernment, waking up to the truth. And they're going to um, I feel like they're going to move forward. It's like they're going to, you know, embark on some sort of new voyage, new beginning because they're trusting their intuition. They're trusting their intuition. Why is 93 happy ending here for my beautiful Scorpios? They have a message of love and a message of light. Thank you, spirit. And so we have a uh, skull of light again on the bottom of the deck, illumination. So again, illumination and then this yellow, the sun. The sun illuminates, so truth is coming. You know, there's some sort of truth, some sort of confession, some sort of um, communication perhaps. Someone is going to be saying something within seven days. So we have about four cards that want to um, 
want to uh, clarify the 93 happy ending and we have the veil the future so someone's removing the veil because illumination was on the bottom of the deck so they finally see the truth there's some sort of truth and it's about their future so someone's going to have a very happy ending you know their future is going to be bright their future is going to be very um fulfilling and i feel it's because someone is returning reuniting with someone and we also have fortune meets opportunity black cat so this person is trusting their intuition and this person's also i feel watching you you know from a distance trying to gauge because that 93 is also giving me like the three of wands so it's almost like they're planning and preparing strategizing you know and they're trusting um their higher self to kind of lead them on the right path so that they can um, meet some sort of opportunity so that something can spark or something can uh, be revitalized within this connection perhaps and we have mummy change see that I can't make this up someone has changed and there's another full moon behind this person so the moon this full moon has a lot of um, significance in what's taking place because remember what I said um, the total eclipse Scorpios you are the conduits of change so there's a lot of shifts in the energy there's a lot of shifts that's taking place so someone that's been kind of like a mute someone who's been like hermit mode you haven't spoken to them you haven't seen them there's been no communication you see how his mouth is wrapped up this person someone's been changing and we can see 41 that's a number of change as well you know this is like internal changes though changing the self you know maturing growing someone has been making some changes and the changes they've made are going to lead to a happy ending because I feel like this person now realizes, you know, that they had to uh, work on themselves. They had to grow, you know, even, you know, as I said, you know, remove this this veil from their eyes. They were stuck in some sort of illusion. I was picking up with the, the magic song by India Irie. Someone could have been under a spell, you know, which caused them to be confused or some sort of like psycho, uh, you know, um, like a... Um, psychological manipulation emotional energetic manipulation and next we have skull of stars infinite possibilities so this is what has uh kept someone very persistent you know um is you know they had to muster up the strength first and foremost but also just you know holding on to that hope you know holding on to the hope sending up those prayers and petitions that better days were ahead you know asking you know most high for you know, some sort of blessing or some sort of opportunity to present itself. And I feel like spirit is saying it is so it is done. You know, it, it's, it's, it's being that prayer has been answered. That wish has been fulfilled. So we have Queen Latifah. Latifah's had it up to here. Oh, Shay. So this person does see you as a queen. I do feel like this person knows that, um, you know, whether you're feminine or masculine, like they know that you you're not playing any games. That's why I feel like they see you as someone who has grown, you know, with nine personal uh, seven, excuse me, personal growth. Um, that, again, speaks to how wise you are. Someone who has grown personally, you've had a more evolved perspective through your experiences. Um, this is like, you know, that's the, the, the energy of someone who's very in tune, very tapped in, very psychic. Um, and so this person has been, you know, almost like inspired or triggered by you. You've taught them to make these necessary changes. Uh, they know you've had it up to here with the games, with the lies, with the trickery. And that's why I feel like they're coming in because they realize you are perhaps their wish fulfillment and they don't want to play any games or they don't want to be in, you know, at, at a distance from you anymore. They see you as a queen, you know, that 93 is uh, reduced to 12. That's three. That's the empress. So they do see you uh, as, you know. A divine feminine or divine masculine on the bottom of the psychic tarot we have crown chakra and remember i was saying with the seven um that's what you are operating in in that power uh you've graduated from the basement basement meaning the base chakra the root chakra that scorpionic energy and you've ascended all the way up to you know that crown chakra in this person's eyes so they do see you as psychic but i also feel like you may be receiving a lot of downloads a lot of transmissions at this time maybe you're having a lot of lucid dreams or perhaps this is your person who could be dreaming a lot about you thinking a lot about you and desiring to communicate uh, what we have here is light 19 and 7 uh, crown chakra on the split so definitely there is an epiphany here uh, the light speaks to again illumination um, the truth coming out um, having clarity 
um, having an epiphany, uh, but it also speaks to something um, that someone is really feeling inspired, you know, towards, like they feel pulled to, that you see how she's kind of like reaching up in the sun and this light is just, you know, basking down upon her. So it's like, this is something someone has been um, working towards and the light is just shining down on them. So this 19 again, that's 91, which is reversed. So I feel like this person is finally seeing some sort of truth. You know, this is that person that could have been, you know, kind of uh, being stubborn or being thick headed, hard headed. Uh, but now the light is coming through. So there's some sort of epiphany, some sort of um, epiphany and an aha moment, realizing they need to change, you know, from being cold and callous and all stoic and and, and just cold, you know, distant um, and, and warm, you know, be warm, be inviting. Um, you know, uh, express your emotions, be vulnerable, uh, emote, you know, um, and I feel like this is something that they're going to do because they're trusting their intuition. I feel like as again, I'm getting a sense of teaching and learning and learning from you. So spirit, we have a message of love and light for my beautiful Scorpios, a message of love and a message of light for my beautiful Scorpios. So they know you've had it up to here and that's why they're finally seeing the light because maybe you've created distance, you've created those boundaries, you've blocked them out, you're in a protective bubble. You know, I just get a sense of you like being in your own world, doing your own thing, unbothered. And the more there's no communication, the more unsettled I feel this person feels, the more they yearn for you, the more they desire you, the more their feelings are intensifying for you. It's like they have a fear of losing you. I have a message of love and light. And we have DJ Khaled. This is called Higher. So I do feel like they are vibrating. They see, first and foremost, that, you know, you've had it up to here, so you're vibrating higher. You've already changed your frequency, you know, and so now that's what they're doing. They're getting on the same wavelength as you. I feel like they are, you know, also um, seeking higher, you know, knowledge and wisdom as well. You know, as I mentioned with that 41, they could be, you know, seeking wise counsel, going back to school, just growing, doing productive things. This could be your energy. Um, so let's see what we have in the bottom of the deck. Rest and rejuvenate. Rest and rejuvenate. This is the number four. And this is clarifying 48 financial discipline and joy rejoicing in the present four is associated with the divine masculine so i am sensing strongly that divine masculine is healing because that's the emperor four is also giving me like the four of cups missed opportunity four of pentacles holding on to someone or something from the past the Four of Wands, feeling like someone is your wish fulfillment or your twin flame or your soulmate. Feeling like there's a higher connection because you have this song playing right now. I just saw our beloved Nipsey, Rising Power King. So this is really, um, you know, someone who has a very strong connection. But what they're doing is exactly what I said. They're healing themselves. They're healing themselves. They're doing that internal work. They're doing those self-analysis you know, they're becoming more self-aware. They're grounding themselves. You know, they could be really um, making uh, or devoting a lot of time uh, just connecting with Mother Gaia, connecting um, with their higher selves, meditating, contemplating, um, doing a lot of internal work. And I feel like, you know, because love is an inside job, you got to first love you before you can love anyone else. And I feel like that's where this joy is coming from because they've learned, you know, how to find that balance within and they're remembering or thinking of you. Maybe this is, you know, the motivating factor, you know, because this 48, remember I said that that reduces to the 12, the three, and that's the Empress as well. So this divine masculine realizes that this divine feminine brings them joy. And we know that because we also have here with how they feel about you. Seven personal growth is hearth. They feel you're the hearth. You're the home. You know, you're the foundation. Even if it's a masculine, there's a feminine that feels that way about you. 
So what they're doing is they're, you know, balancing themselves. They're finding balance within themselves so that they can approach you. Because this is what's allowing them to see the truth, to discover the truth. See, I can't make this up. Harmony. We got the number six. Remember, I kept seeing six, you know, when I was doing the cards and I was mentioning the lovers. This is exactly what that is. This person feels you're like the one. This is harmony. This is synergy. This is a sacred connection. This is what they feel. And I'm about to clarify how this who this person how this person um who this person is you're attracting. And it says six, which is the lovers. Six is also giving me like the six of cups, someone returning from your past that has deep regret. You know? This is someone that definitely has deep regret and they feel you're a queen. Because we have Queen Latifah again singing dance for me. So this person definitely feels you're their queen. And this is like a union. These people, are, they're not even like, there's no words, but look at the connection, the synergy. This would be synergy. Look at the energy it's creating. It's a green color. And remember, I kept seeing green in the symbols, you know, of these cards. And I was saying, this person has a lot of love for you. And remember, troops saying, I will always love you. So this is someone from your past that you have not spoken to that will always love you. And their love is what's leading them back to you, leading them towards you. This could be a past life love. This could be someone you meet and it will feel like you've known them all your life because that's how powerful the synergy, that's how powerful the chemistry will be between the two of you. These two are emitting a, a glow of green light, this green glow of light, which represents the heart chakra. And this is the divine masculine, I mean the, the energy of the person you're attracting, which I was just speaking on the divine feminine and divine masculine. So let's see, why is self-discipline, barm, barm brock, sweetness and synergy here for the person of love Scorpios are attracting to them. I have a message of love and a message of light. Thank you, spirit. This is someone coming in, new beginnings. This person knows you are in the precipice of a new beginning. That zero represents starting at ground zero. So this person is having to, you know, start all over again. They are ready. They done closed the door, closed the door on the past, and they are embarking on this new beginning. And guess what they're going after? They're going after what they feel, you know, this this attraction towards, this this synergy, this chemistry. Because wherever they are, they're very discontent. They're bored. This is someone very dissatisfied. It's almost like, and this is the divine masculine. I can't make it up. Number four. You know, and this is also that person that sees you as like their twin flame. They're very sweet on you. This person knows that, you know, they 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 want to come towards you and be sweet. You know, maybe in the past they weren't. That's why this sweet is sticking out to me because I don't feel like they were very sweet or very kind, you know, or very opened or very attentive even in the past. And I feel like they, they really want to uh, display that this time around. Whether it's feminine or masculine. They could have been a whole bee. They could have been an egotistical, pompous ass. You know what I'm talking about? Like a spoiled brat. A, a stuck-up snob. Like, ill. Like, they could have been the worst. And now it's like they've had some sort of, you know, they've had some sort of epiphany. Or they've been met with some sort of karma. You know? Karma done knocked on their door. And now it's like they realize, like, okay, they have to change themselves. But this is what they want. They're dealing with a new beginning, which means that they've recently had some sort of completion wrapping up of a cycle as well. This is starting at ground zero, you know. And we have Guapoli, closer plane. So this person definitely feels closer to you than wherever it is they are or whomever it is they're with. They feel this closeness. That's why that synergy is there, the sweetness, the synergy. So they feel this attraction. They feel this, this, this like a magnetic pull towards you. Because they are bored to death. And they're also bored with the lack of communication. The lack of, you know, um, connection with you. That's, I feel like you, you just, like, maybe if you are f aware of who this is, um, maybe this is someone you laughed a lot with. Maybe this is someone y'all used to just be mad spontaneous and just go do things. You know, you just, 
where, wherever the wind blew y'all, y'all ended up. It was just a very fun dynamic and chemistry you all had. A, a dope banter even, you know. Y'all could have been friends, but there was always this chemistry, you know, between the two of you. You never took it further even. And maybe when people came around you, they was like, oh, y'all make such a cute couple. And y'all will look at each other and be like, we're not, we're not together. Knowing that that's what y'all really wanted. You know, but it was just like y'all y'all were friends. It was like y'all developed a really strong friendship first. And that's why this person realizes, like, damn, you make them happy. And you're closer. She's saying, I'm, I'm, I'm getting high, closer to my dreams. So maybe, as I mentioned earlier, like a wish fulfillment to this person. So they're getting closer to their dreams because they've already completed a cycle. Something has come full circle karmically for them. They've learned something while they were in this hierophant energy of, you know, studentship, of, of self-mastery, of self-discipline, you know. And now they're getting closer to approaching you, reaching out to you, communicating with you. And with that seven there and this four, that's 11. So this is, again, you know, someone that feels or deems you are their soulmate, their twin flame, their twin, uh, their cosmic companion. So why is uh, personal growth, hurt, and happiness in our hearts and homes here for our divine feminine and how, I mean, divine um, Scorpios and this person, how they feel about you and we got foundation and achievements on the bottom of the deck i can't make this up i cannot make this up shadow this person is in the shadows this person is definitely um realizing that you're a mirrored reflection of them i feel like you may have reflected back to them who they aren't who they are you know as you've worked on yourself because it's like they feel that you are you know almost like the yin and yang you know, this is like yin yang energy. You know, this is like someone who feels with that nine, the hierophant, um, not the hierophant, the hermit. This is someone that knows you've been in hermit mode, working on yourself, doing your shadow work, healing and growing and mastering yourself. This is someone that also hides in the shadows and watches you. They're also reflecting upon the past, you know, with that 18 that reduces to nine. Like I said, that's hermit. So you have absolutely been you know, in a protective bubble, you haven't been communicating with anyone, you haven't been, you know, around anyone, you haven't been really putting yourself out there. I feel like there's been more so working and, and mastering yourself, healing yourself, growing mentally, emotionally, spiritually. And what's on the bottom of the deck? Foundation and achievement. They feel you represent a very solid foundation, that you are the home, the hearth that represents the empress energy or the emperor energy. That's the provider, the protector. As the feminine, that's the maternal energy, the nurturer. You know, that's that energy of the healer even. You know, someone very domestic, knowing how to cook and feed and love and show loyalty and faithfulness and attentiveness to the family. This is that energy that they feel with you with foundation and achievement. That they can build a nucleus, that they can build this, this you know, happy house, happy spouse energy, happily ever after. You know, that includes your children. This is beautiful. And the happiness is right here. Remember, it says, hearth, happiness in our hearts and homes. This is what they feel about you, that you would provide that. And with closer playing by uh, Goapoli, I feel like with Go, because her name is spelled G-O-A-P-E-L-E, Goapoli, they're ready to go. They're coming towards you. They're going after what they want because they feel like you represent the home, the hearth. This four is this the a vibration of 1111. That's twin flame energy. So, and I've been seeing 1111 all day. I mean, you know, and picking up on that energy. So why is 91 surrender and winter the sacredness of pausing here for what's hidden in the energy for my divine Scorpios, my beautiful Scorpios. Thank you, Spirit. So it says, choose wisely. So someone has a choice. And remember what I said with that surrender. So when you're being stubborn and you're like, no, I'm not doing it because you're trying to be, you know, all bravado. You know, you're trying to display this, the bravado or you're trying to be. Uh, stubborn because you don't want to uh, come off emotional or affectionate or whatever. It's like there's a death of that. 
I feel like someone reflected. The, the, it says the sacredness of pausing. So there's been some sort of reflection so someone could choose the right course of action. And it looks like they're going to choose the higher road. Because with these two, it appears to be like, um, these look like blue herons to me. And those blue herons are, you know, very powerful um, animal totems. And they represent protection. It's almost like spirit is guiding them. But spirit is also instructing them to go within. Remember that uh, scrying card intuition showed up. So it's telling them, trust your intuition. Trust what's leading you. You know, trust what your energy, where your energy is leading you. You know, because wherever this person is, like there's an option, there's choices here. And remember with the karmic, you know, karmics can be very... Um, you know, a karmic situation uh, can be very detrimental and it could ultimately lead to heartache and loss if someone chooses the wrong direction because what's hidden is heartache and loss. So with that energy, and if you look, it's like it, the, where the, the head is, where the crown is, you know, you see the clouds outside of that window. It looks like she's trapped in some sort of cave or cell and that's really symbolic of being like trapped um you know, emotionally trapped, mentally. Then we have Missy Elliott, best friends. And I was just talking about how you have a dope connection with this person. So spirit is saying like this person may have hurt you. You know, this person could have really hurt you. But it's like you're receiving some sort of blessing. You know, regardless with this material harvest. You know, maybe someone is removing themselves from a situation. And this is when the blessings come in. You know, the blessings start to pour in from spirit when you detach and cut cords from karmics and you know karmic relationships and you start to uh, break those yokes and hexes because we had magic playing earlier but I feel whoever this person is they're going to become your homie lover friend like they're going to be your life partner it's going to be a solid connection they're going to be very supportive they're going to be very protective so this person could really be going into a deep meditative state to make the right decision because I feel like someone um, is absolutely, you know, kind of like, uh, you know, it's, it's like a life or death situation, to be honest. With you. They know they're going to hurt someone, but I feel like they, they're going to do what they have to do for themselves because I'm getting one in eight. That's eight. So this is causing a lot of mental anguish and it's also causing them pain because maybe where, whatever they're leaving behind it's like they do care, they do have feelings, but they know it's not best for them. It's not, it's not, um, it's almost like it's detrimental to their mental health. Because with that 91, that's 10, and then the 7, that's giving me again that 8 that we saw earlier. The 8, um, I was picking up like um, the 8 of swords with that 71, it said health. So I feel like somebody is really like confused, conflicted. This is that person that's bored wherever they are, feeling discontent. So it's like there may not be no communication, there may not be no affection, there may not be no, you know, no engagement with whomever they're with. It could be a situation based upon just, um, you know, finances or stability, security, but it's no love. There's no love there. And with this heartache and loss, I do feel like, you know, maybe there's been some sufferation. You know, some someone has suffered from the past, but I feel like whatever sufferation you went through, there's a happy ending, you know. So it's like you didn't go through it for nothing, you know. It wasn't for not, you know what I mean? So, again, the heartache, the loss, the pain that you've endured, that you've experienced, it has led to this personal growth. It has led to someone um, even working on themselves, you know, being inspired or triggered to do the work on themselves, to heal themselves, to, to change, you know, to enact some sort of change within the self. Um, it's also helped someone to pull the wool over their eyes, you know, because they were completely confused and now they could see their future. You know, now they could see perhaps a future with you. You know, maybe someone was really, um, a hidden enemy, you know, and th there's this opportunity now just by trusting one's intuition and, uh, they're able to see the possibilities that were perhaps, you know, missed before because of, you know, perhaps someone manipulating their energy and doing love spells or whatever have you. And we have group home, and this is called Superstar. So this person feels you are the star. And remember, Skull of Stars is here. So this person has changed because they feel you're a wish fulfillment. There's, there's no denying that, you know. 
they're heartbroken. They know they broke your heart, perhaps, but they're ready to to um, rectify the situation. I'm getting a strong sense of someone coming back. A card just fell into my singing bowl. This is that person that's discontent and bored, and they're coming in. I feel with with uh, you know the intention. Look at that transformation. I can't make this up. I mentioned transformation. Voila, someone has transformed. They've gone through their own dark night of the soul journey. They've gone through enormous change. And we see that here because change is here. This is someone who has really been, um, you know, hush. I feel like you've been kind of like in your protective bubble. And someone has also been also, um, someone has also been kind of like in that hermit mode. Because um, I was picking up like somebody being like a clam. You know, it was very hard to pry open, you know, get them to emote or express their feelings or communicate but someone has gone through some major transformation a startling metamorphosis perhaps and i feel it's the divine masculine because that 13 breaks down to four and this is again the four here so discontent and bored um four and four reduces to eight so i feel like whatever they're feeling whatever this is because you can see she's like kind of peeling away her old it's like the death of the old version of themselves and she's emerging as this beautiful, you know, butterfly. And you could look at her crown chakra. It's like a little gem there. So it's like this person now sees the light. You know, there's infinite possibilities. They've emerged someone confident, you know, determined. And so that four and four reduces to eight. They're going after that wish fulfillment. They're going after it with tenacity, you know, um, willfully determined. Um, you know, so there could be some communication rushing in towards you very quickly. So let's tap in. Let's get a couple of tarot cards and then we're going to wrap it up. Uh, Shay, beloveds. Let's see what we got. So we're going to pull some messages from... Where is that deck? This isn't the deck I want. Where is the deck? Where are you? Where are you? Oh, there you are. There you are. There you are. There you go. So the bottom of the deck. Look at that, the Empress. I've been mentioning the Empress, Empress, and here she is. This is the number three, Empress. So the Empress, beloveds, you are in fact the Empress in this person's eyes, and that's exactly why this person feels joy. They feel sweet on you. They feel the synergy. They feel attracted. They feel happy. All of those feelings, they feel like you're the home, the hearth. Those, those are all the things that this beautiful divine feminine embodies, even if you're masculine. That is a very powerful energy. Some of you all could be pregnant. Some of you all could find yourselves getting pregnant. There's no doubt about it. This person feels your wish fulfillment. You are wish fulfillment. They are praying for you, calling you in, asking for you. And they also feel this energy, like they've missed an opportunity, you know. So let's tap in. Let's see what we get, you know, on the split. So we have, look at that. I can't make this up. Ten of Cups and the Empress. So you are indeed the home and the hearth. This is happily ever after. This is emotional fulfillment. This is joy, peace, elation, contentment. This is building a family, a nucleus. This is building some sort of structure. This is amazing. This is about the home and the hearth, exactly like the card said. And you provide all of that. So they see you as someone who's reached that level of self-mastery, just as it says. You've, you've grown personally. They can find you as domestic. Maybe you know how to cook your ass off. Maybe you've cooked for this person. Maybe this person feels that you are a nurturer, very loyal and attentive. Maybe they feel you are uh, beautiful and attractive, powerful, a master manifest, whatever it is. Look at that chariot. He has his eyes on you, beloved. He's coming after you. Oh, he's coming. He's coming. He's got his eyes on you. He's like, yeah, I'm about to turn his chariot around and go after my divine feminine. That's seven and three. Remember, I was getting ten from the cards earlier remember i said with the 48 that's three and the 41 that's five that's eight eight and the seven that's 15 that's six that's the past love that's that lovers and then that six and this one that's seven so that seven is the chariot that's when i was saying like the chariot is coming in and that seven and this three reduces to 10. So this is what that is, the seven and a three, that's 10. So this is that person that's coming after you because they're ending something. There's a karmic ending. There's some sort of cycle that's closing out. They're making a choice to go after you, that seven. This is the seven here. They're choosing wisely. This is what he's doing. He's reflecting on what he desires, on what he wants. You've changed something within this person. You've triggered something within this person. Only like a divine feminine or divine masculine can. 
You know, you, you have a power and a synergy and an energy that is very much, you're like the conduit of change. You trigger that in others. And so this is what has caused this person to start doing their work. So they're going through this startling metamorphosis. So this is powerful. I can't even make this up. There goes the Hierophant. I just saw the Hierophant. They could have been juggling. And as I said, I was picking up like karmic energy. So they could have been juggling. This is you giving somebody chance after chance. Opportunity after opportunity. And you felt disappointed. You know, they could have caused you mental anguish. There goes that eight of wands I was picking up with that right there. There's the four. Remember, we had the four. Thirteen breaks down to four. So that's the four. And then we also had the four, the disconnect, discontent. And I was saying that was like the eight of wands. Somebody rushing in, coming after you, you know, feeling very, uh, you know, motivated, inspired. There goes the six of cups I mentioned as well. Someone coming back from the past. They've had some sort of epiphany. And look at that. They're coming in with tangibles, beloved. They got something to offer you this time around. That's why they've been doing their due diligence to get their money right, get their paper right. And we have uh, Mary J. Blige is on. So this person is definitely is saying like it's on. They're, they're prepared. They're ready. You see that? Look at this. This is quick. This is coming in real quick. You ain't even going to expect this. And with that Ace of Pentacles, they have, they, they, it's like their actions are going to back up their words. You know, it's going to back up their words. And you're going to have to make a judgment call because this is, in fact, somebody from your past. And this was, you know, in fact, the situation where there may have been some karmic debts being paid off, karmic situations, you know, karmic lessons being learned, karmic cycles being completed, and the judgment is your energy. So you, Scorpios, will have to make some sort of judgment call because I was picking up like somebody from your past returning, you know. Maybe you are the one making this choice, you know, but there's definitely somebody making some sort of uh, decision, you know, choosing very wisely to come your way. And with Mary J. Blige, again, this is called I love you. This is somebody that realizes they love you. And we knew that because we had troops saying I will always love you. So we have the seven of coins here. So the seven of coins is showing me that this person, you know, somebody didn't feel like their hard work was paying off. Because with that three and the seven, this is speaking to like the ten of pentacles is what I'm getting. Because the 48 reduces to 12, that reduces to three. So that three and the seven is giving me the ten of pentacles. Someone didn't realize your worth and value until after the fact. So they didn't really put forth the effort. You felt like perhaps maybe you was putting in more time and energy and effort into the connection. And they was just kind of like breadcrumbing you along, barely giving you the time and energy. So you kind of like felt like you know, like your hard work didn't pay off. Like it was just a waste of time, but you still was able to accumulate seven coins on your own, which speaks to your ability to establish your own sense of independence and independence. And your independence is the foundation for your stability, your security, and your overall happiness. So that's why you, you know, you were still winning. You know, you didn't focus on the problem. You focused on the solution. You didn't get stuck in that emotional whirlwind of, you know, confusion or that emotional roller coaster. You said, you know what, I'm going to continue to work on me. But you were feeling very unfulfilled and dissatisfied in that situation. And you was perhaps seeking joy. Someone through their own meditation is realizing how much love, how much joy you brought to their life and also how much effort you was putting into the situation while they was doing very little. This person now realizes you're the empress. So this person sees you as the empress, the person you're dealing with. It says the empress here. This is what they're desiring. This new beginning. They're desiring a new beginning because this is what they feel. They love you. You know, they love you. They're attracted to you. They feel the synergy. They feel the sweetness towards you. You know, they see you as powerful. They see you as beautiful. They rep they recognize your change and your change has triggered them to change. And this is why they are inspired. You know, they're inspired to, you know, take this step. You know, it's like they're walking in faith to to go after you. They're, they're taking this leap of faith, you know, per se, per se, to come after you. And I do feel this distance because I see this globe or this world underneath her feet. So it was like, this person is willing to come towards you because they realize they love you. Where's the lie, beloved? Ooh, look at that. See the moon. The moon just shot out. You could be dealing with someone that has cancer in their chart. This is what they were hiding. And it's like, you can hide it and shove it down all you want, but the truth is the truth, and it's going to come out. And this is someone who's very intuitive, so this, is, this could be that person that was having dream activity, 
you know, they could have been sending you messages telepathically because they know you're psychic. This is also shadow. This is like the moon as well. So this is someone that has deep emotions, you know. And this is also someone who could have been like, you know, because when you think of um, the moon, um, the crab, you know, it, it represents cancer as well. And so, you know, there's hermit crabs. Um, so this is somebody that definitely was taking some time to work on themselves, you know, kind of hidden. This is someone that has deep emotion. You know, the moon really represents someone that is um, reflecting as well. Very emotional, but also highly intuitive. So there could be a lot of dream activity, as I mentioned um, on this card. See the fool. <laughs> this is what they want to do. They want a new start. They want to start over. They want to take that leap of faith with you, because if you look at his cup, his chalice is full. So their cup runneth over for you. There's no doubt about it that they have a lot of love to offer you. And they do want this new, you know, this new chance. But I feel like, you know, with this loyalty here, you know, maybe this person wasn't displaying, displaying um, certain uh, characteristics that you needed to see. You know, maybe they, like I said, were, you know, in their shadow side. But I do feel like, you know, there's uh, been some reflecting going on. They've been reflecting and they do want to take this leap of faith. Yep, this person could be obsessed with you, or they could have had some sort of codependent relationship with another person, which is why they were foolish, you know, which is why they uh, seem to be, you know, torn between two, because they had some sort of like, you know, relationship with this queen of wands. And with this devil, this just is very toxic, fiery, codependent, um, an attachment. I was picking up on somebody who could have been in a relationship because of money. Uh, this Queen of Wands could be very um, controlling, overbearing, demanding, um, especially with the devil right next to it. That's why I'm picking up those, um, you know, those tendencies. Uh, and this is what led to this person being foolish. You know, um, they were loyal, I feel, to the wrong person as well. Um, because this energy here, I do feel like now they want to take that leap of faith. And they do want this new beginning. They want to walk away from that. This is what they was dealing with privately, you know, unbeknownst to you. Maybe you did know. Maybe you knew, you know, intuitively something else was going on, but you didn't know, you know, like the actual factuals. But it's coming out in the cards because we see here that they had some, you know, this could have been even addictions, um, sexual addictions, incubus, succubus type of relationships. They could have had some, you know, energetic parasites, uh, leeches. They could have had some energy vampires dealing with spiritual transmitted diseases, all kind of stuff. So let's see, why is the seven personal growth, hearth, and shadow here? So how this person, our beautiful Scorpios are attracting to them. I have a message of love and a message of light. So here we go. You got the page of staffs. So there's a message coming in. This is like a, a good news. This is someone that's finally coming in. See that? There goes the ace of wands. So this is what they're doing. They feel very, very very, 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 very attracted to you. This is somebody that is attracted. This is somebody that is ready, baby. I was picking up on somebody who felt very inspired. This is like their passion is intensifying. It's growing. There's news. There's a message coming in. And they're very, you know, because even with the blue that he's wearing, I feel like this person is ready to reveal whatever they were hiding from you, you know. It's like they've learned to just, you know, to, to emote, to express. They've learned some things here. You know, they also realize, like, you know, the reason why you may be guarded is because they didn't take that, you know, they didn't take action in the past. But I feel like there's a message and it's going to make you pretty happy. And we have SWV Rain. And, um, you know, this is called um, uh, Rain. So maybe, you know, when I think of rain, I, I just feel, of, you know, it's, it's, it's symbolic of water. It's the element of water. So water is very healing. Uh, water is also very purifying, very cleansing. Um, but it also represents love, emotions. So this could also speak to a water sign um, as well. Maybe you're dealing with a water sign. But I feel like somebody is super attracted to you because that Ace of Wands is just, it's giving me like phallus, male phallus. But it's also just telling me that there's someone coming in very passionately. Um, it's, I, they're choosing you, in other words. You know, because with choose wisely, I feel like they're choosing you. Because with this Ace of Wands, they want this new beginning with you. And we did see that earlier. So why is nine, uh, 91 Surrender, uh, Winter, and 7 Choose Wisely here for what's hidden? For my beautiful Scorpios, we have a message of love and light. Thank you. Bottom of the deck, two of coins. See that? Same message. Choose wisely. 
So they're juggling two people. They're juggling. You know, but they could be in two minds. But there's definitely this feeling of wanting to um, make the right decision. That's why they are sitting in this meditative state, you know, trying to get things straight, contemplating, you know, and hang man is here. So spirit puts someone in a sacrificial position so they can see things from a different perspective so that they don't go you know, backwards, you know, you don't want anybody repeating cycles, uh, a lesson will repeat itself until it's learned. So it's almost like somebody, the spirit is like screaming at someone like choose wisely. They also have this card here, you know, which is also saying like, remember, you know, remember why you're here. You know, you, you, you did all this work to change. Don't go backwards. Don't fall into the trap. Choose wisely. So it's like somebody is really, um, you know, looking at things from a different vantage point and perspective. Uh, I also see here with this magician, um, they are perhaps looking at a way. And with that 12 and that one, this is again, I feel the divine masculine, you know, divine masculine could be really like, you know, setting intention, you know, really trying to set intention, manifesting some sort of change, some sort of new outcome. Um, but this also represents, you know, the power that we all have as above, so below, as within, so without. Um, you know, so this is someone really uh, that is um, realizing that they are the Magi, that they can co-create with Source, that they can change their reality, that they do deserve, you know, love, that they do deserve happiness, that they don't have to stay stuck in a situation that otherwise is, you know, feeling dead. Whatever isn't growing is dead. And in the wintertime, everything is dead. All the foliage, all the beautiful flowers and trees, they all die. And so this person is realizing something that they've been a part of for quite some time has been dead. And perhaps their stubbornness and their ego and their hard head is landed them in this position where spirit has put them in the sacrificial position of reflecting. It's 1919 on my clock, which is 719, and that's uh, 10 again. So 719 is 10, and this is 10. So I said 719 is 10. Um, that's, that's eight, pardon me. So this is that person that's like up in their head, um, you know, really like mental conflict, confused. And that's why spirit is like, look, you can, you can get the right answer. Just take some time, you know, take some time, meditate, get it straight, look at things from a different perspective, a different vantage point, and voila, you'll see, you know, which direction you need to go. Um, I always see the sun here, which tells me that this person finally sees the light and it's obvious because what we see here in the outcome is there is a very happy beginning you know that's the color of the sun as well so that's about illumination um and we have nipsey hustle again ocean views so this person is absolutely with the water ocean um they're they're looking at things from you know the perspective of love so it's like their heart chakra is open now um and they're choosing love it's almost like they're choosing love they're choosing what um you know what triggers them emotionally what fulfills them emotionally so yeah this person is at a distance remember i mentioned the ten of cup coins and there it is so this person is choosing between someone they could have been in some sort of domestic relationship with they may have lived with that person maybe they were step parents or parents to someone's child or children uh, maybe this could be you and now there's this decision of choosing something else um, moving on, there goes this boat. So it feels like, again, distance is of, you know, significance here as well. So why is 93 happy ending? Um, the future veil, uh, black cat, uh, mummy, the skull of stars and transformation here for the outcome for my beautiful Scorpios. And then we're going to wrap up for the message. Thank you, spirit. All right, so we have the king of staffs. So what did I say? Somebody coming in very passionate, hot and heavy. They want to come in and work together. They want to collaborate. This is definitely someone who has a lot of passion, a lot of fire. I kept feeling like somebody's pat that the passion was intensifying, growing. Um, this is someone who, you know, maybe they've changed from being someone with a wandering eye. You know, this is a transformation that they've made, you know, because they, they had to be a death of the old and they've emerged. You know, the king is still a king. Um, so the king of wands is very determined, very passionate, a go-getter. So this is someone that's like not afraid to go after what they want. 
Um, and they're coming in with this, you know, intention to work together, to build together, to grow together, you know, to collaborate. So that is powerful. That's beautiful. And I want to get one more message. We've got two more minutes before it's two hours. So let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and do that. So we have on the bottom of the deck occupation. So some of you all may have met this person in your places of employment. You know, you could have bumped into this person at a job, an old job. Back in the days you met this person, or maybe this is someone you currently work with. You have a message. Maybe you go or frequent, you know, patronize someone's business. Um, you know, whatever the case may be. So let's see. I do feel like you've been working very hard towards a goal. And, and that goal is very close to um, being achieved. And we have Stevie Wonder, never dreamed you'd leave in summer. So perhaps this is someone that you stopped speaking to in the summertime. Or maybe this is someone that was born during the summer, summer months. And so we have Pathway. So there's a new opportunity. I feel like something's opening up. Like this person is returning because something has transformed or changed within this dynamic, you know, with the 35, that's eight. So it's like, and those butterflies represent transformation, change. So this person is changing and they're on this new path. They're coming out of a very t a d a dark time because I see them like in the forest. So it's like, they could have been lost. They lost their way, but now they're finding um, themselves. They're coming out of this, this dark um, darkness and into some sort of new, um, into some sort of new, uh, paradigm, some new beginning, you know, that eight is also like a wish fulfillment as well. This is also speaking to strength, endurance, coming out of that dark night of the soul journey. And there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There are seven um, butterflies from what I saw. And so seven again, this is someone rushing in. I feel like this is that person that is, um, you know, building their confidence through this journey, through something karmic. It has led to their transformation. And we have child here. Somebody could have realized that they were being immature. Maybe this is someone who was, um, you know, maybe there was some, some, someone was perhaps feeling a certain type of way because someone had children you know, maybe children were a factor in a situation. Maybe someone felt obligated because of a child or because of children. Maybe someone was hiding the fact that they had a child. With this 18, I do feel like, you know, that 18 reduces to nine. So this is like someone could have been healing their inner child as well because the nine is the uh, hermit. So that could be, you know, the hermit is, uh, you know, re you know, reflecting and taking those internal self audits and healing and at a soul level so healing you know that inner child why is 41 self discipline uh bomb bark new beginning and the moon here for the person scorpio is attracting and we have war don't let no one get you down playing right now so this person was definitely dealing with someone they were at war with and we did see the devil and the queen of wands so that's a very like, that's a very toxic type of entanglement. That's like really, um, it just screams karmic. So there's nothing coming out for whatever reason. Somebody could be really going through a lot at this time. They don't have much that they can say at the moment. Let me get a message from my beautiful Scorpio's wife. It's 41 self discipline, Barm Rock, New Beginning. Thank you, Spirit. We have in the bottom of the deck, Marriage. See that? And we have concern. See, this person is definitely uh, very concerned. Whatever they're dealing with, we have war playing. Don't let no one get you down. So this person is going through a lot. So they're very concerned with whatever it is they're dealing with. And also, it may weigh heavy on their head with how to approach you. Because with the six, remember I kept seeing six and hearing six in my mind's eye. So this person could really be up in their head, concerned with how to approach you, as I said, concerned with what to say, um, concerned even with how to leave perhaps a current situation. Um, so they, they're they very heavy, um, but I feel like also just moving out of a toxic situation that's leaving them discontent and bored. 
Um, the six is, you know, giving me the six of swords. I'm also getting the six of cups, wanting to return or wanting to return to what feels like home, hearth, um, what makes you happy, um, but just a little confused as to how to go after it. I'm also getting the six of wands, wanting that breakthrough, wanting a victory, but again, trying to figure out a strategy to do so. The bottom of the deck, we have marriage. So this is the, indeed that person that can envision marriage and family and, you know, the, the, the whole foundation, um, an achievements card, which showed, you know, that beautiful family with the rainbow. Uh, this is what they envision, you know, when they are uh, thinking of you, when they are dreaming of you, they can see this. So this is someone that definitely um, is coming back uh, with the intention or will confess or express something um, in pertinence to, you know, they desire to perhaps marry you or, you know, to propose because we did see the uh, Ace of Pentacles and I was like, they got tangibles, beloved. The tangibles could be a wedding ring, an engagement ring, a promise ring, um, just proposing um, to take the relationship to the next level. So why is seven personal growth, her care, shadow, and page of staffs for how this person feels and remember I kept like this card would not come out it took a long time and that's because this person has difficulty expressing themselves they're really literally up in their head when you have concerns it's like he is like ruminating pining this is like you know uh, self-inflicted mental anguish you know so why is this seven personal growth and we have coffin here this is like a death so there will be a death where that's going to be when we clarify the 91. So we have the occupation. So how they feel about you. This is someone that knows you work hard. This is someone that I feel you definitely have history with this. You know, this person, uh, cause with this 34, I do feel like either you worked with this person, you may have lived around this person. Maybe you grew up or went to school with this person, but I feel like there's a sense of familiarity. Um, I also feel someone's getting some sort of, you know, they're having some sort of epiphany. Like they didn't put forth the effort like they could have, um, but they also realize just how much effort you put into it. Um, this is someone I do feel you met at your job, met at a place that you, you know, used to work at. I don't feel, even if this is someone you, someplace you currently work. Um, with this 19, this is reversed 91 yet again. So this is indeed this person, whoever this is, this is like to me, someone is coming out. This is a death of, you know, being stubborn. This is a death of being hard headed, being thick headed. And someone is finally saying, OK, I will submit. I will open up. I will be receptive um, because this person could have been numb in the past. We got numb playing by Dave East. Uh, some of you all could reside on the East Coast. Maybe you're dealing with someone named Dave, first, middle and last. But whoever this is, it's like there's a death of their um, stubbornness or their uh, thick headedness or their uh, ego. You know, it's like a death of that because now they're realizing like, you know, that cold and distant act isn't working. You know, it isn't working for them. It may cost them you. It may cost them to lose you. And so spirit is like, look, you need to make a choice uh, in terms of what you want, because whatever isn't growing, it's dead. So they realize like they're going to have to feed and nurture this connection and not continue this distant um, non-communication if they wish to resuscitate or rebuild or reconnect with you because you are absolutely like slowly but surely like moving on and it, it, the more time that passes that you don't speak to them the more it's more difficult it's going to be for them to convince you um, that they want to rebuild or it's going to be more difficult for them to return to you. Let's just say that. So this is what spirit is doing. Spirit is like, look, either you can stay wherever you are, discontent and bored and waste your time. Or you could look at things from a completely different vantage point. Spirit is like forcing this person to look at things because that's why that patience card was there because someone is really, um, you know, spirit is really working uh, with someone here to, um, see things, you know, from a different perspective. And I feel like this is someone who may have um, really had some faulty belief systems in the past, really thought, you know, the, the sun rised and set on the ass, like they, they thought it was all about them. Um, and that could have got old real quick. And so, you know, now they're trying to manifest you back, manifest this connection back. And it's because it's all dead, stinking and buried. So it's like, they want to resuscitate, they want to you know, they want this new beginning. They want a new chance. So they're going to have to, you know, 
you know, present themselves in a way uh, that's going to be more assertive and confident. And more importantly, they're going to have to, you know, um, express whatever it is that they have you know been feeling so why is this 91 surrender winter choose wisely hangman and uh the magician here and we have distant horizon so remember i mentioned the anchor and i was feeling like somebody is you know finally you know um the anchor is is releasing look at that so there is a death indeed so there's definitely some sort of death i also feel um you know maybe the death of a loved one um, maybe someone passed on and this kind of numbed someone because remember we have numb here playing by Dave East so perhaps someone um, became numb emotionally uh, because of the death of a loved one because of someone transitioning um, into the spirit realm and now there's this opportunity for someone to look at a situation from a different perspective, a different vantage point. Uh, this could have been someone who could have been very stubborn in the past, uh, but spirit is like, you know, um, there is a new opportunity. It's like learn from the mistake or learn, um, you know, to to be open. You know, don't close yourself off or up. Uh, be open, be receptive because there's something better that's on the way. And we see that because the sun um, is there and it has something to do with love because this is the ocean and remember ocean view was playing uh, by um, Nipsey Hussle and that's exactly what this person is looking out into the ocean you know and you could see the Sun right here so the Sun represents the truth the Sun represents strength someone is building the strength building the courage you know someone is also seeing the truth you know in a matter um, and this distant horizon is telling me that, you know, someone is finally uh, taking action. There's movement. There's change here. Uh, someone's looking at things from a bird's eye view. Um, they're no longer energetically stuck and stagnant. Um, and there's no longer anything holding them back from what they want. Uh, so there is change that's in acting. And if you uh, look at that, that 36 uh, reduces to 9. And 9 is the highest number of train change. So we have Oshun uh, playing brown. Um, so some of you all, I feel like uh, Mama Oshun, this person is absolutely attracted to you. And 93 reduces to 12, which is the Empress. So they do see you as a goddess, the lady goddess. I'm hearing um, divine feminine. If you're masculine, someone finds you to be very handsome, uh, very attractive. I'm hearing you have a beautiful beard or you may have a uh, beautiful uh, brown eyes. Maybe you're, uh, you have beautiful brown skin, if that's applicable. Um, maybe you have beautiful brown hair. Um, but this person is very attracted to you with Mama Oshun or Oshun playing. So we have uh, toil and labor that was sticking out. So the 38 is here. So I do feel like, you know, perhaps there is... Um, this person feels like there's going to be a lot of work uh, that's going to be required uh, in order to win your heart uh, because you know your worth and value. You are powerful. You're majestic. Um, you are strong. You are sharp witted. You are wise. You are you're just someone that is very sacred in this person's eyes. And with this official person, number 22, I do feel like this is someone that does see you as their um, twin flame because this four is giving me 11, 11 again. And then we have 38, which is 11. So this is someone that is willing to put in the work and the, the effort to, um, you know, because I feel like in the past they didn't put forth the effort. They didn't put forth the work. But this time around, they, they're official because they've made those changes. And with that 22, again, that reduces to four. So that's that divine masculine. They're ready to come in as official. Um, if that's a divine feminine, same thing. They're ready to come in officially and uh, put forth the effort to show you, um, you know, how attracted you are. Uh, with Mini Ripperton, this is Inside My Love. So this person definitely carries you in their spirit, um, even with no contact, no communication, um, no connection at all. It's like they still carry you around in their spirit. But I feel like you could also be picking up on that. You could be very sensitive to that because you're very psychic, you're very in tune. And I feel this person knows that, which is why they may send you these messages. But remember, Nas had the message, so I do feel like there will be a message coming soon. Um, Mary J. Blige says seven days. So for some of you all, within seven days, um, it may happen. 
um, you may receive a message, a phone call, a text, an email, a phone, um, or some sort of um, um, DM message. Maybe someone will, you know, ring you from an un identified number you know but whatever the case may be i do feel like there's something or someone coming in and um it's an opportunity you know it's an opportunity perhaps to repair a situation uh to clear the air with someone uh but whoever this is that's coming i feel like they've changed they've transformed tremendously it's it's been repeated here and this is someone that carries you in their spirit and i feel you theirs um, but this is your reading, beautiful Scorpios. I'm going to end it there. Uh, I thank you so much for tuning and tapping in. If you found that these messages have resonated for you, please be kind. Hit the like button, the share button. Definitely hit the bell notification so you know whenever I upload. Um, and if you are new, I hope my message has resonated with your energy. I hope my energy resonated with yours. This has been a chill read because I just wanted to get these messages out. There was a lot to unpack here today. But Thank you so much for tuning in, tapping in. Again, I want to send a happy solar return to any of you who may have already uh, celebrated your special day. If today happens to be your special day, happy, happy solar return. Many, many more to each and every one of you. I love you. Until next time, I send a big fat mwah, ashe. Peace, love, and light.